they will deal more damage to you. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, this is the saddest thing that ever happened to me. See. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so let's talk about this. There is a troll right there, and this is why I'm. I'm oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Your stone with me. Uh oh. Whoops! No! 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 This is good. <laughs> Oh, you're not dealing that much damage. Oh my god. Come on, that was a landed shot. <laughs> What's the matter? You can't comprehend this uh, object? Good morning indeed. So, let's see. We are back. We are in the 20th day of our adventure. Welcome back everyone to Valheim Permatet Hardcore Experience. We've made it so far, we've survived quite we have survived quite a lot. Actually, I'm surprised that we've been <laughs> we've actually managed to not die so far, given that this is actually hardcore. Before anything else, I really wanna I really, really wanna be grateful to uh I actually heard I I thought I heard something out there. To everyone who who's here to share our adventure with us and actually I was really really happy to be able to answer to your all your comments and uh, share basically our uh, our adventure together in this silly but yet very very dangerous challenge so stay tuned because there will be many more episodes hopefully if I don't die <laughs> I have a lot of hope in my heart so uh, yeah, we're back in our tower. Like I said, we're gonna start the day here. Actually, started the day in the hut. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a hut because there's nothing else than a hut. Oh boy, that was bad. Okay, so here are the skills. We are 20, 34 bows. Actually, I'm not gonna give up on this. Come on, don't give up on your dreams, even if this bow is highly inaccurate. Or am I inaccurate? Maybe I'm inaccurate. There you go. Am I gonna jump? Yeah. Grab all that precious loot. So, 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 so. Many things to be done in this episode. We have upgraded to a better food. I don't know how we are on... Uh, actually, I've, I haven't spent that much time. It's been actually a very long time in between episodes, so uh, it's been like a week. So I don't remember what we have here. Because I haven't been playing for honey, but I miss this a lot, a lot. Let's see. Honey, we can go for some honey. Let's grab all this precious honey. Meanwhile, while we wait for our carrots, let's do some uh, cozy base related uh, things around here. Don't I have... Hold on. Don't I have the... Yeah, I have the carrots. Is why I, I got these in the last episode. I just watched my last episode. Because yeah, I kind of watched them too. Just to make sure I don't say and do stupid things, like I've said, oh boy, a thousand times. So let's plant these. Actually, get rid of them. We are, we're gonna need it, so we're gonna need a lot of carrots. I wanted actually to, you know, have them all together in there and start them all together, but don't matter. We can have um, delayed carrots. Sort of a delayed carrots. Let me pay, put the cultivator back. Okay, so, things to do in this episode, let's see, let's see, I have no plan, <laughs> so we are gonna, we're gonna wink for it, let's see, yes, so the elder is somewhere that way, because in one of the episodes, I think it was the second, the third one, where I explored the crypts, we found an elder stone, we found an elder, yeah, summoning stone, or how is not summoning stone, but the uh, the boss stone, right? So when I selected the stairs, you know the trick with the stairs, uh, they pointed out in that direction, like this or this. I think it was this. So that means with a little bit of luck, it might be on this huge island because it's a very very large island. I keep pressing M to open the map, but that's not happening. But yeah, it's a very large island because. We didn't find the ocean in the first episode, so okay, let's see. I still have to build a lot of things. Uh, we need to expand the base. I'm gonna fight the Elder, and then we're gonna work on expanding the base. Let's see things that I haven't crafted. Oh, oh, 
the maple it looks really weird and i wish that this was smaller 10 wood for four let's see let's build the maple since it's summertime because we can only build this in during the summertime someone said that this house is really uh, not that efficient that you have to go all the way to the crafting stations here and there but honestly it takes like for, so look, look at this if i want to go in the base i'm just going to jump and i'm in taking the resources i'm out it takes less than two seconds to actually <laughs> get back to your crafting station so i don't know i might have to disagree with him doesn't look that ineffective to me so at least it serves my purpose so okay so yeah, we've taken care of the maple. Yeah, the skulls will be great. How how is um okay, these are nice in here. Let's see what else we can build. Oh, we can build a boat. Wait, 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 wait. 30. Yeah, we're gonna need 30 of this. Ooh, 80 bronze nails. Now hold on. Also you can leave your door open. Oh uh, shoot. Yeah, well, this is a problem. Okay, okay. We're gonna take things one at a time. Because I've got that amazing pickaxe. I've got these two. <laughs> oh, no. We need, actually, in this episode, we need to go for some more copper before defeating the Elder. Actually, it might happen because... Oops, oops, oops. I'm destroying my own property. Not even the Great Dwarves, I'm just doing it by myself. <laughs> okay, so, uh, wait, 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 wait. We need more, we need more copper, we need more bronze, we need more tin, oh no. And here I thought this was, be, this was gonna be a really fast day. Yeah, I still haven't upgraded these, I don't have uh, enough for the boat. Okay, so, okay. Given that the things are as they are, pretty sucky and sad, Let's just do this. Okay, I have a card outside. Close the gates so nobody can get in and have our base safe in there. Do I build a road? Now that's the question. Do we build a road? Let's build a road. What the heck? Oh, wait, we have a road here. Oh man, let's go. Let's go the other way. Let's go. What's happening? Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. We also might need some more core wood. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we need a lot of copper. And a lot of... Oh, this road is really wonky. Oh, this is not for... Oh, I haven't cleared this road? Oh, God. There's a lot of work to be done. But I want to keep it all in the episode. Because I want you to see everything. Like I said, I don't want people accusing me that I'm cheating or doing something stupid in between the episodes. So this would... Oh, really? That was something stupid. See? If I hadn't recorded this, you wouldn't have been able to see it. Look, look. I glitched it. I actually managed to glitch my cart and the grilling near him. Oh my god. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, I need to take care of this road. This is a really improvised road, so has basically no function. Yeah, we kind of need to take one or two more veins. I think oops, since we're still taking the trouble of coming all this way, I'm actually really risking it here. Last time I checked this side of the forest, there was a troll. That helped us farm. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> nice. I knew, see, I knew there was some copper here. Anyway, I'm, I'm so smart. Actually not. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. So there's the card. Behave, please. Thank you. Let's get some wood. I need a chest for... So oh, I need, don't need a chest. I need the wood for repairing the cart. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now, we're going to have to deal with this entire forest fighting us while we get this copper. But the good thing is, and the good news are... Oh, come on. See? I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played this in a week. Now, come on. Come on. Oh, no. Yeah, but I still got it. These are just gray dwarfs. So we should be fine. As long as we don't do stupid things. Okay, let me put these in there. 
and start using the hoe around this ore. Let me quick scan for any suspicious activity in the forests, any trolls or anything. Yeah, the main problem will be the tin for this. So we still have a bit of smelting to do, which sucks. But the main problem will be the tin, because I've kind of exploited all the tin around this side of the forest, so we might have to go further for some tin. And the really weird part is that I'm going to need to take the cart with me, because I'm not going to be able to carry all the tin with me, since we're going to go pretty far. And we have no portals, so we can't transport any loot. We can't teleport the loot. Okay. So yeah, there's a tree in here, but that should be fine. This is quite a generous ore, so I'm curious. Deposit, like, let's see. Stay in between two, so we split it even. I'm curious to see how much uh, copper this thing will yield. Because it seems quite generous so far. Yeah, I usually place my ore there so I can see it. And I... In the past, I've done a tr no, it's not a trick, actually. I usually keep the ore, um, just toss it here on the ground. So that's one of the reasons why I have the workbench on. Having the workbench on, when you're full up, you can just toss the ore on the ground, and at the end, you just collect every single piece of it, and it should be fine, like here. So that's the stone, that's the copper, good. Now the only downside of this is I should have had the forge with me, but we're not that far away from home. So in case that anything happens... That was stupid. <laughs> in case that anything happens, we are safe. Oh, oh, we're hitting three nodes here. Three chunks, actually. Let's see. So in case that anything happens, yeah, we're we're safe-ish. <laughs> we're close to home. Close to base. I should be a bit more zoomed out. I'm making a lot of noise. I'm actually surprised that there are not more monsters around here too. You know, shows the business. Initiate us in the dark side of the Black Forest, which is death. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, even more copper. But yeah, so many things can happen. I can get easily smashed by a troll here. And I shouldn't have said that, because it might actually happen. But yeah, we can take a hit. I think we can take a hit from a... Like, a swing from a troll. Not a hit, but a swing. So this is what I do. I'm gonna place them there. Like that. All there. Might have jinxed it here. Calling the bluff on the troll. You might call my bluff, actually. The troll. No, that was... Come on, man. Why can't I jump? Thank you. The only weird thing, I wish they did, didn't do this. Like, when you're jumping in this game, I wish the only... The jump skill... Okay, so let me put it differently. I wish they had the jump skill when you level your jump skill. Um, so if you have higher levels... Come on, let me focus here a second, because I might actually... Do something stupid here. Come on. You're done. Oh, you, you weren't you weren't staggered there. Okay, you weren't staggered. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, got it. So I honestly don't remember what I was talking about. But I might. It might come back to me. Because I was actually when I see enemies in this game, especially on this mode, I'm really scared. With all my experience, I might do something silly, or miss time an attack, or do something like that. I'm always gonna save a lot. Can I please have these there? Okay, let's have the stone there. Actually, we don't need that stone. So yeah, anyway, trolls. Yeah, the only problem, the only problem are the trolls. And like I said, if you get past the Black Forest, the rest of the game should be fairly easy. Until you hit the Ashlands. God, I don't know what's happening in the Ashlands. 
I haven't seen anything and I've avoided on purpose any videos right related to the Ashlands because I want to do a uh, I want to be surprised <laughs> and I think I think there are plenty of things in there to be surprised uh, off or about I don't know I think we're, we're actually uh, at least myself and I actually be very surprised with the Ashlands the only thing I heard is that you can't use your normal boat you need a special boat to get there I don't know why makes no sense well, the water is boiling maybe so uh, but yeah, if the Ashlands is done, we're only gonna wait for the last update, which is the Deep North. And boy, that would be amazing. That would be an amazing sight to behold. Because after that, I don't know what will they add after the final update, which will be honestly the Deep North. I think that's the last one. Because if you look at the map, if you've seen a generated map, it looks like they have um, really shown us you know is the final distribution of the map like uh you have the deep north in the obviously northern part of the map and you have the ashlands in the southern part of the map so that's that they could have added some um instead of the ashlands they could have added some but ashlands is great too some sand biome you know sand related stuff scorpions and stuff like that but maybe that would have been too uh, too generic like a lot of games do that we have uh, we don't have a jungle biome oh that would be great too we don't have a jungle biome like in minecraft but we do have we're gonna have two snowy fields but it makes sense though <laughs> oh my god I can't see anything in there oh no so it kind of makes sense because this is a North Viking world, right? So uh, there should be a lot of frost around the map. So this has taken us, oh my god, almost 20 minutes. I don't think I'm going to go for more copper. Maybe take it one at a time. This will have to do here. Or should I go for more? I don't know. I'm confused. This takes a lot of planning. Actually, this takes a lot of planning. I don't think we need more. I think this will have to do. Just grab it home. Let's just take it home safe. And honestly, let me grab this stone. Oh, nice, 50. Perfect stack. Since we are just oh my god we're going through this food this is quite an expensive food so a smart thing a smart thing okay a reasonable thing <laughs> most players do is actually they uh, use not bad food but you know less efficient food for farming the thing is you can't do that in hardcore especially if you're gonna perma death the, th the whole thing if you're playing with the idea of the challenge of permanent death so yeah using raspberry right now or honey doesn't seem like a good idea <laughs> overall right overall because the forest still i'm on the edge of the forest but you might still be surprised so far so empty so far so peaceful I'm actually surprised at how peaceful these the, the forest is Okay, it's kind of getting dark, but here's the thing. I can't leave this place until I'm finished. I'm not going to come tomorrow. We're actually going to go for tin, and when we arrive, I'm going to risk it here, even if it's nighttime. I'm actually going to go for some tin. Well, not during the night time, do No, <laughs> but the first thing in the morning. Oh, look, the welcoming committee. Let's get some fire arrows in these guys. See, they've changed the fire animation. Oh my god.
goodness, and the sound. You're going, you're going, you're next. So, as you can see, they even... Um... Boy, I thought that was copper. I think the monsters... Yeah, the monsters are, uh, are faster. I've addressed this in another episode, but... Let me know if you knew, uh, if you happen to know this. Are the monsters faster in the hardcore? I don't know. I only know that they have increased health and uh, they will deal more damage to you. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, this is the saddest thing that ever happened to me. Oh god, the pickaxe... Oh no, it just broke right down in there. Am I gonna carry the stone? You bet I will. Who knows what we're gonna use it for? Maybe build some crazy defense. Wow, that was okay. No, <laughs> what can I say? I'm gonna deliver everything in there. Wow. If I had been more careful than to, no, okay, it doesn't matter. It's not like I can actually program everything. So let's quickly get home. And I'm gonna turn down the SSA herbs so you can actually see something here. So this is one way to go. Turn down the SSAO. Nice rhyme. You know what? You know what? A smart player, a smart player would do this. Uh wait, I thought the card was gonna be lost forever. A smart player would actually do this. So let's prove ourselves that we are a smart player. Ta da there we go. I forgot that we have this hut in the first episode when we discovered the black forest. So we actually came by this hut. And now we have it. Great. So now we can just turn the SSU back up. I missed it. Jesus. Wow, it feels like the first day all over again. Only this time I have a broken copper pickaxe with me. 21st day, 20 minutes of this episode wasted on, actually not wasted, but spent on gathering copper. That, I promise, I'm a way better driver in real life than this. It's just, this thing has no suspension. So, oh no. We should be fine, we should be fine. I'm just looking for trolls. My only, you know, the only menace, the only, the only uh, thing that I feel threatened about it are the trolls. Oh, come on. I really need to clean this road. It looks horrible. Feels horrible. Yeah. Also, when we got through, when we get to the swamp, that's gonna be really interesting too. I have to try a trick on the Elder. When we fight the elder, I'm try to I'm gonna try to trap him. I'm gonna try this with every single boss. Try to trap him in a circle, and then uh, blast him with arrows. He's still gonna be able to shoot us. I feel like. We'll see. But I'm not gonna take any risks with these bosses, especially given the fact that we've survived so far. We've actually made it pretty far. So, um, I'm not going to risk it on Elder or Bone Mass or anything. If you want to see melee fighting with the bosses, that's going to happen in the next challenge. If I'm going to fail or succeed in this one. Like I said, we're going to attempt a really even crazier one. Where we go for, um, ooh, nice. Let's wait for the rest of the bonus in these, oh, 10 levels in comfort. Let's wait here for a second. Uh, where's the stone? Let me place some stone in there. Now we're good. Also grab some more arrows while I'm talking. Good. Now, do I need the hoe to create the path all the way back home? I might need it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take the cart. Oh, <laughs> I actually forgotten something. I could have used yeah, that was bad. That was that was really bad. Could have used the night time to wait for the. Okay, it's 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 done anyway now. Wait for the ore to prepare the ore. How are we on wood? 
That's my question. We are good on wood. Thankfully. Like I farmed like a crazy person. A lot of wood. So these aren't full. Let, let's fill them up. And then we're gonna get the wood going. And while this thing is happening, we're gonna get some uh, tin. But yeah, this was a major oversight. So let's take all that precious ore and take it back there. I should have taken it with a cart. That's... I'm wasting, wasting time. Like I have a ton of time, but I don't. So only 30 ore. Let's get that going. We can go for some tin. I think this ore will be enough for the next upgrades. I'm not 100% sure, though. But I'm gonna need, like, 80 bronze nails. So it's, the stupid thing is, like, I'm stuck right now, okay? Unfortunately. I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to actually go and craft the boat, and get the fermenters going. I think I should do at least one fermenter. Meanwhile, that's while I'm still talking and breathing here like a silly person. Yeah, I should get going. Oh my god. Let's get the fermenter going. Oh, we need five. <laughs> Can I get at least one? Oh, uh, five bronze. Three. Yeah, we can do that. Oh no, oh my god. 10 resin, 30 fine wood. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have done this earlier, way earlier. Does this need to be inside? Now here's the, here's the thing. Does this need to be inside the house? I don't think it does. Does it? I don't have the bronze, oh my god. What am I doing? So yeah, I need a lot of bronze to get the nails for the carve. Because if there's no carve, there's no exploration. Requires a roof. Well, there goes my theory. I'm gonna plant it here just to make sure... Uh... Yeah, so we got the fermenter. Let's see what we can craft. Okay, minor healing. I want that. Poison resistance for the swamp. Let's actually start these. Ten gold and honey, five thistle, one neck tail. One neck tail. I'm gonna start. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need ten honey. Oh, we need a better base. We need a better base. This is this is like yeah. So it served our purpose, right? So it took us all the way to the black forest and beyond. We're close to the swamp now. But we kind of need to. Have a larger one so I can keep the fermenters and everything. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? The fermenters and everything inside. So let's quickly get the poison resistance potion. The mead, actually. I'm gonna keep calling them potions. Okay, now that's done and taken care of. We've got a lot of stone in here. We might need this stone, so let's... Hold on. Let's do this. We can have stacks of stone outside. I keep forgetting. And you can use your um, mouse button to pile them all like this. So just spin it around and create a really large compressed pile. That feels like a zip archive. And they care. There we go. There's a star. A lot of stone in the chest there. So be organized. Here's your uh, professional tip for today. <laughs> The more organized you are, the less you're going to struggle in this game. Can I? I? Let me... Okay, so this will be another pro tip here. Take the card with you in your inventory like this. It's easy to destroy. I'm going to need to go very far away. I need to find another patch of black forest that that's close to the ocean, so... We're gonna have to take a really long ride, so fingers crossed that nothing happens. I have the fire arrow selected, so let's go on an adventure for some tin. I wish this was the adventure for the Elder, but... Apparently it's just the adventure for some tin. Then I'm gonna be... I have to be super careful on how I'm gonna drag that tin back home. And we're gonna go for actually three or four... Even maybe even more. Uh... Oh hi! 
Hello, neighbor. Let him cook. Let the fire do its thingy. Let him cook, and then he's gonna bleh, <laughs> explode. I'm just looking for trolls, looking for trouble. Is that a troll? No, it's not. I'm just looking for some trouble. Because, see, this is a really small patch of a black forest. Oh! Is that tin? No. That's not tin. There's tin. What are you talking about? There's a lot of tin here. Not enough, but there is some tin. Like eight. Sixteen. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm keep, keep looking, so keep looking, son. Keep looking. Oh, come on. That could have been tin. Oh, there's some tin. Nice beach here. Really? Oh no. Oh no. What do I have to drop? I have to drop the wood to get this tin. That's a silly trade. All that wood for some tin. But I'm desperate. Yeah, I'm really desperate about tin. What's oh, a one star bore? Nice. Yeah, why am I using fire arrows on these guys? Wasting precious fire arrows. So, we still need to get the bows. Oh god, it's on 34. We need around at least 40 to 50 to fight the Elder comfortably. So, let's just keep going here. And hopefully, this is not a circular island. But it, it isn't, by the looks of it. Have to keep going until we find the d d d d. Nice. Let's check this house since we're on exploring. Ooh, it's a village. Oh, there you go. Another patch, or is it just the same patch of black forest stretching forever? Hey, it's fine by me. Just hope for the tor forest to touch the ocean in a very kinky and inappropriate way. Let it touch my ocean. Okay. That's not my ocean, I haven't conquered it yet. It's Odin's ocean. At least in this world is. Or in these lands. Okay, so we can see, I can see some black forest right there. Ooh, nice, in the middle. Touching the ocean. Showing the ocean some business. Now I can start actually mining some wood. I, it wouldn't matter. I wouldn't mind having some wood. So I need around 30. I don't know. I hope, I hope it's a large enough forest so we can do our thing here. Mr. Grey Link, and we snipe you. So this bow is way accurate. It's way more accurate than the last one. But still, it's still not top accuracy. It sometimes can let you down. When it comes to the long shots, so that's the only problem I'm gonna have with this bow. So yeah, don't forget to save every now and then. Don't take any risks, a lot of progress, it's your progress, your world. Game might crash and you're gonna lose 10 minutes of progress, you're gonna be like, why? This is happening to me. Okay, let's place all the weird materials in the chest, I'm gonna place them one by one, not shift clicking anything. Um, how do we do this? You know, it's small wood is good wood. Not in the right position, eh? Okay, so I'm gonna drag it with me like this. This is gonna be stupid and dangerous. There's a spawn right there. Okay. So I'm gonna go pass by some... Uh, this is not a good idea. This is... I'm gonna die. This is gonna cost me my life. Uh-oh. See? Oh, okay, 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 um... So let's talk about this. There's a troll right there, and this is... Why I'm... I'm oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, look at that. Look at him. So blue, and I'm actually looking just like him. I'm just tinier. And I've slaughtered his kin. He's gonna be really pissed with me. That's just wandering like an idiot to the dark person. There you go. 
Is that a headshot? Nice. Another headshot. Show me that big head. That was a stupid idea to say. I can't see anything. I'm going right here. So let's take him. That's fortunate that we can take him on the meadows with us. Oh, I should have landed the shot. I actually landed that shot too. So, Mr. Troll, if uh, I'm fine if you're gonna keep uh, smashing uh, your stone with me. Uh oh. Whoops. No, no, no. This is <laughs> Let's talk about this. And one last shot for good measure. Honestly, I'm, I was gonna do something stupid and silly just to prove you that we can survive a troll hit. But I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have the balls to do that. At least on camera. It's just too much in stake. But yeah, you should be able to tank it in this armor. Right? You should be able to tank a troll hit. However, I don't want to do excessively stupid and silly things. Okay, we can have the troll head in there, why not? See, this is why you shouldn't travel in the dark forest with the cart on. Okay, I'm gonna leave this thing here. This is... This is no. <laughs> so, no, that's a no. Okay, do we? Do I want? Do I do what? Do I take over the spawner from here? That's too far away. So let's actually clear the coastline of enemies. And then we can actually... Ah, yeah, we're both... You, you and we, we both suck at aiming. You hit that thing and I hit this thing and... Yeah, we make a really bad team. We'd make a bad team. So I'm just gonna take it from here, from distance. Not gonna take any risks. There's no risk there, but... You're gone. And you're gonna follow. I'm actually gonna need the seed. Or the seeds. To spawn the other. Oh, so this is nice. There's a lot of black forts going on here. Okay, so I'm gonna need the cart. Let's go for the cart, carty, carty cart. Let's actually go and grab that cart. This will be a very stupid idea. Because so far, I've risked enough. And the night is coming. And I've grabbed so far, because I, I was hindered by so many enemies. Like, I've, I've grabbed zero tin. So for now, let's park it here. At the, can it be, please, developers, can you have a button switch to take this on and off you, not just have to aim at those little wooden frames. Alright. Is there any more in here? No, no, no. Scanning for some tin. This is really dangerous. Because this is unexplored territory. Might be spawners, might be Skeletons coming out of nowhere, especially two stars, the only ones that I'm worried about. Okay, oh, we need to save. So, on another adventure we go. To what kind of death? I don't even know. I'm gonna lose my rested buff soon, which is great. Great news. It's always amazing when you lose your rested bonus. The world is a better place. Oh, come on. Come on. Are those carrots? Am I gonna pluck them? Yes. Am I gonna pluck carrots with a cart hanging on my thigh? <laughs> that was silly. But yeah, I'm gonna be a bit goofy here, just because I'm scared. Just because I'm scared, I'm keep looking in the forest. Maybe finding Halder would be great. Yeah, I wish. I wish. I wish I had that luck. Okay, so nothing here. 
Okay, no matter what, I'm gonna have to park this thing here. I have no more fire arrows for you. Oh, that's a bunch of them. We can have a small base right there. Got him. I was a brute coming to really. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. What have I got myself into? So let's follow one of my advices. Advice? Really? Let's follow one of my advice. And just stay in here. And shoot them from here. Because that's how you take your. Ooh, it's a two star. Wait for the stamina so you can be perfectly safe in here. Just wait for your stamina to go back. Back and forth. We're gonna rocket this baby. Now it's your turn. Come on, two star, mister. Where are you? No, you're not leaving. Yeah, we can have a small camp in here because it's getting nighttime and it's dangerously dangerous to do this. Where's my two star friend? Where are you? Oh, so he was, he's just decided to leave. He was not impressed with my uh, shenanigans. He had enough. <laughs> okay. So in this type of situation, like uh, the one ahead of us, I'm gonna have a lot of useless crap on me. I'm not gonna need these. I'm gonna keep these on. So see this thing, not in the right position. You're not, you're having a hard time taking this on and off. So let's park. I have a great idea here because uh, we're too far away from home to actually be able to get home. So before that two star dwarf sees us, great dwarf. Oh, you're not dealing that much damage. Oh my God, come on, that was a landed shot. You should be dead. Nice. So we're gonna have a small base in here. Really quick, really fast. Let me just tear everything down. All the beams and all the roof and everything. I don't need them. I'm gonna show you how to turn this in a really quick base. Maybe you already know this. And then I will have nothing to show you. So yeah, we're gonna have this. Ooh, what's going on? Ooh, there is a shaman with them? There was a shaman here. Where are these guys coming from? Oh, they can't fit in here. That's excessively convenient. Oh, and they're destroying my cart. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not having that shit. I'm not having your shit. Not your, neither yours. Look, a foggy night in the dark forest. It's late, it's dark, and this is dangerous. Yeah, this is really dangerous. I'm gonna have the workbench here really fast. Okay, can I actually climb for the wood? There are some skeletons nearby, amazing stuff. So we can have a bed here, and a small camp we go. Okay, really, really fast, let's get the... This is really dangerous what I'm doing right now. Come on, have a door first, thank you. Okay, now we can have some roof pieces coming together. That would be perfect if they would just snap. Bottom one to this piece, can you please? Oh my god. No roof for us, apparently. The game won't let me have my roof. This is this is just stupid. What, what, what is happening? Game, please. Slip, snip, snap, auto, auto. Oh god, that was that was abysmal. So nothing happens, let's just sleep. Oh my god. What have I gotten myself into? 
I hope we can make this safe and we can have the journey back home. Because this episode was sad. To have all this work just for some... Some small resources like these ones. Oh, no. No, no. I'm gonna take all the stones. I'm gonna keep... Let's have the... Oh my god. Let me just take away all the useless and unnecessary items from here. Like these ones. We're gonna keep in these ones. We're gonna keep... So let's see. What, what am I gonna throw away? I'm gonna throw away these, these, and these, and not these. I could have thrown away the flint, though. We're gonna need the blueberries. So I'm not gonna throw away them blueberries. Oh, it's a foggy day. Of course it is. Just my luck. I don't know. I honestly, I'm I'm confused. Why do I keep these on me? I don't need these. I don't need the. F I kind of need the wood. I kind of need the coal. I need the drill head. So we're gonna get rid of all this, 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 and this. We're gonna need these too. Yeah, why not? So we're here on the coastline. Let's see what's in here. Cause there was a chest in here. There are more blueberries, which we're gonna need. Especially now that we can mark them on our map. Oh, that was a really sad night. That was a really sad and difficult night. So see just when it's time to go take a nap at home and your base or whatnot. Let's just throw everything. I don't care. At this point I only care about uh, the tin. But I don't think I have found any on the way here. Oh no, we did find some here. Well, look what I'm going through for some tin. This should have been a one way and 10 minute journey. I was like, gonna say five, but <laughs> how can you get this far and back home in five minutes? Yeah, we kind of should eat. Our HP is going down. So, uh, staying to the coast, I've mentioned this in my other videos, but staying to the coast will actually keep you safe from monsters because you have monsters spawning only on one side, so only on the right side, on my right side at this point. So if you stay near the ocean, you are way safer than just going inland like a crazy person trying to, I don't know, invent, reinvent the wheel. And I think they came from there. Yeah, the shaman and the other ones. I just don't didn't see it. But they came from here, because this is another one of those uh, thingies where they have. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. And don't worry, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Look at this. See, you're getting it. Get them staggered and just get them murdered. Okay, that was weird. Dump, 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 dump. Okay. Oh, 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 really, really. Three tin deposits here, but none of them on my side of the forest. Or at least there were really few tin deposits. This is actually a very large forest. How f long is this island? That's what I'm concerned about. Like I said, this seems to be a very, very large island. Not that I need this. Because if this was any shorter... Okay. Again, with this fog. I can't see anything in this fog. I'm just looking for some tin. No tin. Wasting time. Great. Oh, come on, game. Why are you lagging? What are you loading now? Okay. There we are. So, blueberries. Blueberries, tin. There we go. Just need this tin, the precious tin. I'm surprised that nobody's coming to check on me. But then again, I have no friends, so. Only gray dwarfs are my only friends. And they kind of check on me. Okay, look, look, see? Just what I'm saying. <laughs> They're here. Let's have a party. I like some parties. Greedorf party. 
It's not just a party, it's a Grey Dwarf party. Where are you? Where are you? Come here. Oh, look, we're getting an event. Just what I needed. Goodbye. They're turning on to destroy my cart. Can they get me in here? <laughs> Look at them. Oh, 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 they're missing. Oh, okay, okay. So the shaman might actually be able to get me there. <laughs> oh, I'm poisoned. Right. I was about to try and fix the smoke thingy. Okay, let's do this. Since I'm not safe in there, let's go. We we're gonna stay here. <laughs> What's the matter? You can't comprehend this uh, object? Oh, look, they're here. Boink. Yeah, I'm not scared of your rocks. You can throw as many as you want. I'm only scared of that thing. Die. Nice. This has got to be the weirdest event ever. I'm gonna take care of the brute, too. And then we're gonna use fire arrows for you guys. So let's start dealing damage to them. There's another shaman coming. Oh, I need to take care of that shaman. Don't care for your poison, Mr. Shaman. Just care for you to go away. Where's the brute? Where's the brute? We're gonna get a lot of wood and stone with this event. There you have it. In the middle of the forest, you're getting swarmed by an event. Well, it's actually not the middle of the forest. It just The event just started because I uh, tried to make a base there. But yeah, we're gonna we're playing with uh, the max amount of raids that this game has to offer. So that's that. How the heck did I miss that shot? I want my brute back. I want my brute back. Where's my brute? You silly little brute. Where is my brute? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's save. I've spent way too much time doing nothing. Well, I should have gotten some more resources. So the only thing they were actually concerned about is the door. They were actually really concerned about my door. So we're getting a lot of wood. Let's see. This is this is five. Let's see. my god. We can carry this. These are really light and save some space in there. Uh, we have enough. We have enough tin. Let's just get home. Let me get the rusted bonus and just get home. But yeah, now we have a small little house here. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to end this episode soon, and I'm still here. So we've made some progress. Let's call it progress, <laughs> because without this tin, it would have been impossible to actually get to the swamp so we're gonna I'm gonna keep looking in this forest maybe we can there's no elder so far but we're gonna keep going I'm gonna keep looking through the forest maybe maybe we're gonna run we're gonna get lucky and uh, run into the elder it's a really hard uh, thing to miss it's pretty large but it was this way the dungeon said it was this way Um. Okay, this is stupid. So this is one of those reasons where I can't leave my cart. Oh my god. Can I dodge roll actually out of that cart thingy? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You're here to kill me. You're paid by one of those angry YouTubers. <laughs> I just say, I'm just kidding. Can I actually dodge roll out of this? Oh, 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 I can. Well, that's incredibly useful. So if you find yourself in a really sticky situation like that one, just like mine, 
where where am I going? Where am I? Am, 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 am I am I silly? Oh my god! Oh my god! See these? This is why you should have roads. So take my advice and build roads like myself. There are plenty of roads here, as you can see. <laughs> so this is why you should have roads. But yeah, I don't want roads this far. But we might actually have to. We might actually have to create a really long road all, all the way up to the other end back. If, if, if we're gonna find the other. Big if there. We should. But yeah, having a both is a game changer, so that's this is this is the last bit of grind that I'm gonna have to go through. This is the most boring, honestly, part of the entire game. When you have to go through the Bronze Age. And the most difficult one of that. Because you're having trolls, you're having raids, your equipment is not as at its best. You're gonna have to carry resources all the way from the dark forest to your base and and back and forth and everything else. But we're we're pretty close to the base now, so I'm not gonna worry. Good. In five more minutes, we're there. I'm gonna have to end this episode after that because we've been going at this for almost an hour now. So almost an hour. Imagine to get grab some silly little tin to be able to mix it with copper. Come on, with copper. Come on. Oh my god. Come on, work those muscles, buddy. Work those muscles. Uh, uh, uh. Carry this. Carry this for me. So, like that. Uh, if I had a road, things would, have been, things would have been much easier. Oh, right. I need to build a road to the... To the Ikethyr, too. I have no road there. No road to the stones. I, have, I think I have the road... Oh, no. The, the road to the Ikethyr is right near the stones on this map. Right, 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 right. I remember from the first episode, even if it was like two weeks ago. Are those boar gonna be a problem? No, let's let's hope that they they will be spooked. Come on, boar, please spook. Go in the right, go in the other way. Thank you. No, don't come this way. Go toward the ocean. There you go. No, no, this is my way. Why are you following me? Another cool thing they could have added to the boar, to make them hostile on the hardcore mode. Even the deer, right? So the deer should come charging at you. The, the one with the antlers, the one stars. Those are great things to be added. Yeah, because I don't have enough resin in the base. Give me some more. I'm actually gonna keep the trophies because I wanna have us. I want us to have a nice space where we can hang our trophies. So, yeah, this is why I want to fight the Elder twice. And the Ike here. But we're gonna do that later in better gear. I'm not gonna risk it just now. And then have their uh, trophies. Ooh, two star boar. Nice. Uh, okay, um. How we're gonna approach this? Can you please go away? I, I, it's a waste of time to kill you and not be able to grab your resources right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Why haven't I killed that boar? Or tamed him? I'm I'm told you I'm not gonna tame animals. That's that's gonna take a shit ton of time, which I don't have. And it's not that efficient, especially if we're gonna play with double resources. Even with normal resources, you're you're super it's super easy for you to get the uh, to get some hunting going. So is there something blue in the forest? Because there totally might be. How's this thing holding on? Because I've smashed it so many times right now. I think the cart hates me. Can I go through here? Yes. Is this safe? No. Can I see something? My vision was impaired there for one second. The cart looks bad, okay? So it's in bad shape, I know that. I'm not gonna repair it just now. It can survive a few more swings. But yeah, imagine having a road and not going diagonally through the forest like I am right now. Oh, I'm going definitely going to have a road in here. Can I climb here? Oh, we can. Nice. Hey, right, time to fix this. Time to fix this bad boy. Yeah, but we're super close to home, so... Oof. 
takes a lot of time. Takes a lot of time, folks. When am when am I going to build those roads? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Look, there's our base. I can see the magical, mystical, majestic tower. So as you can see, even going for some extra tin takes a lot of time if you're going to deal with no portals and make the game as punishing as possible. So there you have it. I'm going to wait for some stamina here. Looking for some trolls. No, no trolls. Good. Oof, we've actually made it. I'm super sweaty. It's warm in here in my house and starting to get warmer outside. Let's eat. And there you go. There you go. They're already here. They're already on my tail. So let's take care of them. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I took the cart safely all the way from the Black Forest up until here. Are you gonna do this to me? Oh, that's a two-star. That's a two-star right there, isn't it? It is! Oh my god, that was such a bad shot. Nice, got him. Nice, two shots on a two-star. It's one of the advantages of using a bow. But the disadvantages lie within uh, fighting in close quarters. So this is a bow only challenge. I'm not gonna use any shields or anything, so bows only. The tricky part is inside the dungeons. So hear me out. When you're fighting with a bow, right? It's easy for you to take uh, enemies away from afar, really from far away to take them out, easy. It's easy to take the bosses out with a bow. But the problem comes when you have to fight them inside, right? So inside dungeons and stuff like that. Oh, it's over. How much time have we spent in there? Dude. We did spend that much time. Um, okay, let's repair really quick. Did I repair everything? Good. Place the items back. Save. And this will gonna be the end of the episode for, for us right here. We have collected a lot of resources. Good god. That's plenty. We're gonna have a lot of carrots, which is great because I've used a lot. We're gonna have some meads. Gonna place them in there. Six of them. I'm definitely gonna need more. <laughs> That's not enough. That's nowhere near enough. So, okay, let's resupply the torches. And, yeah. This is it. Let's grab the coal and we can start working. We can start working in the next episode on uh, grabbing the boat and actually maybe scouting a bit further into Dark Forest for the Elder location. And I'm actually gonna go prepared. I'm gonna go prepared. The Elder fight shouldn't be a difficult fight. However, it's still, it's still not a walk in the park, especially on this mode. So, there goes this thing, there goes this thing. We're gonna have 25, yeah. So, as I said, right, the Elder fight. I'm not sure, not sure, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build the arena, because this will take a lot, that will take a lot of time. So, maybe we only build the arena for, um, Yagloth and the, and the Queen, only the Yagloth, right? We should be fine. Oh, there's another event. Great, great. So see, just spent five minutes in the base and there's another event going because I haven't seen one in a while. So we're gonna test this theory to see how it works. They're gonna swing at my walls too, they're right there. See, they're gonna throw rocks at me and stuff like that. I was kinda hoping that they will be fascinated by this wall right here. Oh, hold on. Let me destroy the small ones. Uh, no, that's not the time, actually. Okay, what are they doing? Just curious to see what are they trying to destroy. The shaman is trying to do something right down there on the right side. So yeah, they're going for the base, but the shaman is dealing no damage. 
Okay. It's really hard to predict where they're going. So I'm only gonna take the shaman out. Feel free, folks, to destroy everything and try and break everything. We're done. We're done. You're done, buddy. So I'm gonna only the shaman is a problem. So yeah, the best way to end an episode is on a raid, right? <laughs> oh, I should have had the copper going. Is there another shaman coming? Where? If so, where he? Where is he? So I'm gonna need a brute. Let's take care of the brute. Oh, there's the shaman. I can see him. So let me try and hit the brute only. Oh, really? The shaman healed him. Is there right there? Right there? Come on. I can't see the shaman. Where's the shaman? Oh, there he is. I just didn't spot him. Okay, so we're good to take them out right now. Let's see, one at a time, one at a time. Oh my god, that was, oh, 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 I, I shouldn't be doing this. Got him. I can actually stand still and shoot them at this point. I have so much armor, I can just stay here and tank all the hits. Look at this. Come on. Target practice. We're gonna have a longer episode just because. Oh, there's another brute going. Oh no. Am I gonna have to go to a whole new level here? Yeah, you can't hit me. Stop, stop trying. Stop being useless. What have they destroyed here? Oh, really? Now it's a one star shaman. <laughs> this game just won't let me end this episode. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so you're healing. Heal this. I have no fire arrows. This guy's healing all my damage. But the two star was even more dangerous. Oh, how come you didn't get me there? I was so sure you're gonna get me. Okay, it's night time, it's dangerous, I'm making a lot of noise near the dark forest. Let's grab all the resources that we can get. Try and click everything in here, make sure that we have it repaired. So they actually didn't do that much damage there. Okay, nice. Oh, this is, this is, this is a whole new level. Now, if I'm gonna spend five more minutes in here, are they gonna swarm me again? So this is the only thing about the raids is that they're they're annoying. Okay, more than anything else, they're annoying. They don't do damage, they don't do anything. They're just there to annoy me. Oh, look at that. We got a lot of seeds. We need a lot of uh, carrots to be planted right now. Before the day is over, I'm trying to maximize everything in here. Ah, there, there are a lot of things. So, okay, let's, let's... Oh, I'm being stressed out by Valheim. Imagine that. A lot of things to be done. So, okay, let's go. Let's go have the storage storage in here. Nothing to store. Okay, great. Days in here. Where are the feathers? The feathers go in here. I have no more arrows. I need to craft arrows. Let's repair. Okay, let's grab the cultivator. Man, man, this is... <laughs> Oh no, let's have some spare arrows just in case another raid happens, because it might. This is Valheim. I may have the torch here so you can see what I'm doing. Let's plant these. And finish the night. This has been the longest night ever. 
Oh, I can hear enemies outside. Great, 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 great. Amazing, amazing. Okay, now we can have some carrots again. Or oh, I'm gonna plant them in the morning. This is, this is silly. So, I'm gonna plant them in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been a really, really stressful episode, especially the end of the episode. It's a dark time, dark days. <laughs> the future's not looking that bright. But uh, at least we survived so far, so uh, I don't know. Things, things might improve from here. We're in the 21st day of our, of our uh, gameplay, and uh, yeah. We've survived so far, so everything good, everything nice, and the carrots are coming alive. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.